Another very useful tool for development is the MySQL Workbench. Uh, I've got it installed on this laptop, so let's look at how you can use it to uh, connect to your local development environment or to a remote server uh, and use it to uh, create database schemas. So I've opened it up, and uh, as you can see, there are three columns for SQL development, data modeling, and server administration. The latter one you won't use uh, in normal development, but you may use it on your on your own laptop. And uh, I'll start by creating a new connection to the local machine, uh, local host. So we click on New Connection. It opens up a dialog, and we'll give it a connection name of local host. Everything else is already set to the default values. The uh, MySQL pass uh, password is actually set blank. The username is root. Uh, and this is the default setup uh, for EasyPHP, for example. We're connecting to the local host, 127.0.0.1, on the default MySQL port, 3306. And because we haven't set up any schemas uh, so far, uh, we'll leave that blank. And generally, it's best to click the Test Connection button. As you can see, it has connected correctly. So we can now go ahead and just click on OK and it will save it. There are some advanced options, but we're not going to use any of those in this particular case. So there's our local connection. And if I just simply double click on that, it will now connect to the local database. And we can see it's already got one schema installed already, which is for the PHP My Admin tool, yet another option for administering uh, the uh, MySQL server. And you'll see up here there's a row of buttons which allow you to do things like creating a new schema. Uh, now you'll be provided with a schema already uh, if you're using MySQL on a Linux machine in the department. Uh, but alternatively, if you want to create a schema on your local machine, you can do it by clicking on this button here. There also are um, buttons for creating new tables, new views, etc., etc. Now, to connect to a remote host, um, you can do the same thing. If I click on New Connection up here, and I'll select a connection to a server that I operate back in my office. Uh, it's called Fenrir. Uh, I'm going to connect, in fact, because I want to encrypt the traffic. I'm going to connect over SSH, which is a slightly more advanced way of doing things. Now, for this, I have to make sure that SSH is running on the server, which I know it is. And I will connect to that particular machine by its name, which is Fenrir dot lesbell.com dot au. Uh, the username for SSH is les. And I'm not going to connect using a password. I'm going to connect using a cryptographic key. Uh, so I'm going to select that key. It's actually this one here. Click on open. On MySQL, it actually the MySQL server on Fenrir is actually listening on localhost. So I'm going to use SSH to connect to the remote machine by creating a tunnel to it, in effect, then connect uh, to the uh, database on localhost. It's running on the default port. Now, I already have set up a schema on that for store development. And I'm going to use the username PHP. I'm not going to set the password just yet. Uh, and the default schema, in fact, will be store. I've already connected this, created it already. So I'm going to click on Test Connection. It prompts me for the password uh, for my cryptographic key. So I'll type that in. I can optionally save it in the vault at this point, which I might as well do. And once it's connected via SSH, it should prompt for the password for PHP. There it is. I'll save that in the vault as well. Click on OK. seems to have connected correctly. And in this case, I can now click on OK. And we now have this connection saved as well. And if I double click to open that one up, it will in fact connect via the SSH tunnel, connect to the MySQL server. And as you can see, there are various schemas on there. But it actually has picked up the store schema. And it's fetched the various tables which make up what I'm developing uh, on that particular schema. So I'll close that now. And that essentially is how you connect to a database uh, using the MySQL Workbench. <laughs>